the stp so how i can disable so but don't disable in the real world because in the real world you will have big problem if we disable the stp so how we can disable means just we will go in the global configuration mode we will write no spanning tree for vlan 1 by default we have the vlan 1 so stp is working for vlan 1 if we create vlan 10 20 whatever vlan stp will work for separately for separate vlan but now what we can say we are uh, disabling for vlan 1 so this command we put so stp is disable here after that if you write here show a spanning tree you can see stp is not working here but we should not do this in the real world if we do this in the real world then we will have the big problem so in the switch one i disable stp i will go to the another switch also i will go in the global configuration mode i will write no spanning tree for which vlan i want to disable we can disable the stp for separate separate vlan like for vlan 10 stp should not work for vlan 20 stp should not work we can do that way but now currently this is a brand new switch here you don't have any other vlan you have only vlan 1 so i am disabling for vlan 1 only so i disable and after that if you write show spanning tree you can see stp is not working here also and then i will go to the switch 3 and i will disable here also the stp but you need to remember we should not disable the stp else we will have the loop in the network but this is a lab that's why i'm disabling here but in the real world we should not disable so now i disable stp and you can see here when i disable the stp this all ports are working no port is blocked here before this port was blocked this or this one but now everything is working no port is blocked here now we will have the loop in the network because stp is not working 